Okay, so um, we first wanted to start by covering some things that we thought of after yesterday's video. And one thing was um, make sure when you're done painting to open the doors. So when the paint's drying, your doors don't stick. Um, so that was, I think, the only major thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, tonight we're going to be doing uh, the whitewash, and um, we'll see how we do with that, and then maybe do some detail too. So what we recommend is just a few tools, like a small little round brush, water, very important, paper towels, lots, lots and lots of paper towels. And we always just have extra little brushes when we get to some of the other detail um, close by. So we did um, do one section of the door. And um, for tonight, I'll be moving the camera around, um, focusing on what she's going to be doing so you can kind of see up close the whitewash. Even though both me and Jamie are capable, it's very hard to have two people um, doing one piece of furniture. We both have different pressure. And you're going to see, as you do this on your own, it's going to take some of your own art and your own thinking to kind of know where you want the white. Um, but you'll get the feel of that. Yeah, and sometimes you may have a plan, and then once you get, like, really working on the piece, your plan changes. You're brain gets going and it changes. So I'm gonna move the camera. Do you wanna show them what we did? Yeah, we, we did a test run on one of the doors, just the start of just the white, um, just so you can kind of see where I'm going with it. You can see that. So that's the white wall. And I actually did a little tip of some detail, just cause I, I just, it's very hard to put yourself out there and paint in front of people. So I had to kind of have a so that's what we're going to do to the whole entire thing. So I'm sorry, I'm going to try not to move you too much. So I'm going to try to get in. Get her head on. Get them head on. And we'll just move them from each section. To section. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Julie. Um, do you have any questions from last night before we start this? Okay, so I'm going to get started. Um, Jamie went over the tools. You're going to find, too, that you just have preference. This is just my particular preference. I like, I actually did try the Klingon brush before we came on live, and I hated it um, for this particular thing. So um, I'm just going to show you what I like, and then you can figure it out. So the first thing you're going to do, uh, we're going to be using um, Antique Villa, which is a little bit, it's kind of between a white and an off-white. Um, go ahead and open that. I thought I had that open. And where's, my, where's my score go? Um, I put it right oh, there. Oh, it's right behind me. Okay, so first off, you're going to start with um, taking, I like the misting water as well, you can get this right at Christmas Tree Shop. I think you can find them on Amazon too. It's basically an aerosol mister. I just like it because it kind of gives me a little bit lighter of a mist. It's, it's just better with a mist. I tried the water sprayer earlier, regular one, and I didn't like that either. So I always start from the top down. So I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be starting the top down, I'm gonna move all the way over, and then we'll go to the bottom of the legs. So I give it a good wet down. And I get some white paint on my brush. My brush is wet as well. And I basically, I know this looks really scary. Yeah, don't panic. <laughs> I basically start putting, and if it feels dry, you can always spray water on it at any point in time. Um, I already kind of did a tester on the other side, so I kind of liked how it was a little heavy around the edges. And then I'm going to bring it to the middle of the door. 
a little lighter. There's no rhyme or reason where I go heavier or go lighter. It's just whatever piece I'm working on and what I think is going to look decent. But you really want to get this paint in the grooves. Can you see that okay, Julie? I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. I think, um, I think it's good. And then I also decided for the top that I didn't want it too washy. I'm going to leave that a little bit more, um, more of a standout white look. You don't have to work super fast, but you definitely want to kind of have a plan. And if you're going to take too long, you just want to keep making it wet. This mister works a lot better too than the other water one because it doesn't make it so drippy. The other water one, I feel like I turned a faucet on. Okay. Um, so then you're gonna take your paper towel and I just start. You don't want to press and wipe. You're just kind of doing like a light where like I'm not making my fingers go down into the deep. If that makes sense. It's like a surface wipe. Because you want the paint to stay heavy inside those. Inside all the detail. And I'll bring it up closer when she wipes more off. Now, another thing, there's things I'm thinking about. Um, and this is personal preference too. You are very, some people want... You can varnish this before you do this so that you'd have a coat of varnish. I probably would do that if I wanted the wash to stay very specific. I don't know if you know what that means. Like um, almost like a glaze where you would be, okay, I only want it right here in that line. You can put a varnish on first. I just don't like to do that. Um, because I don't mind, I never really use um, sanding blocks, so I don't mind if the paint lifts away from the wood a little bit and kind of gives you that little bit of a distressed look, and that does happen. Like, actually, you can see, Jamie, bring that right up here. You can see it's happening right here. If you see that really close, see how the paint is doing its own distressing from the water and the wiping? I personally don't like to be around sanding. I have lung issues and I just don't want to breathe it in. So this works for me. But if you don't want that look, you, you can um, varnish. varnish or wax prior to doing this. And then you have a little bit more control. And then you can see like down in these detail how yeah. we like it really heavy in there. Yeah. But also if you were to varnish beforehand... You're not going to get this look where the white actually even gets throughout the gray on the door. And I, I like that. So again, it just comes down to preference. I'm just going to open this door because I don't like it when I, when I wipe. And you can kind of see that I made that arch. And then around, I want it to kind of be a continuous just aesthetically. And then you can even kind of go around your door because this is a little bit different than paint. The water is going to get around there. If you want to keep it clean, you can just do that quick. Is there any questions? I'm going to keep going so you can watch this over and over um, because I'm going to have to get all this done before I can start the detail. So, Jamie, if you want to move me to the next yep. panel. I'm probably going to get a little quiet because I have a hard time thinking, talking, and doing this at the same time. So I'm going to let Jamie kind of entertain you and ask her whatever she's watching the phone, and I'm just going to do my thing, if that's okay. Um, and if I think of something, I'll bring it out. But this is basically what's going to be going on pretty much repetitively.
I have done this with black, which is nice too. I've done it with a lot of colors. As long as your surface is wet, you don't have to be afraid. If I go to wipe and something is not lifting right away, you just wet it. Yeah, the water will help move the paint. Yeah, it'll read. Julie, do you have any pieces in mind that you are going to try something like this on? or? Yeah, has she purchased any yet? I am known to, after I go through the whole thing, I'll go back and I'll, um, you can balance it out by target, targeting spots that you want either more or less paint. Less is a little harder to go back and do, but. Hi, Sam. We're just um, doing our whitewash. Oh, that's nice, Julie. She said um, she has a small piece, an end table. She wants to start small. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you gotta get your finger in here to... I need, I think I need blue for this one, oh. this right here. You can get these shop towels right at Sam's Club. I go back and forth with the paper towels I like sometimes because they pick up the water. They seem to absorb a little bit better. But they are linty. Just make sure you're looking for any drips. Mm -hmm. My head is not in the way. No, you're good. I don't like, per I don't look for perfection. I kind of like the, however it falls, look to. Okay. I think I'm gonna go to this door before I hit the lady. Okay. If that's okay. Just move the camera over here. I'm going to. Are you gonna move oh, down okay. or do you... Oh, I see what you're saying. See my brain. I'm kind of just moving. <laughs> what they can see. Can everybody see I okay? I'm out of the way, but... Well, I can see. And if the comments are covering some of the piece, you could just, um, I believe, slide to the right, and then you slide to the left to reveal the comments again. But if you don't need to read the comments... You can just move them out of the way. I 
Basically, you just want to really make sure you're getting in the crevices because when you wipe away, that's kind of, that's what makes it look so pretty. This paper towel is useless. And if you are going to use paper towels, make sure they're good paper towels. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to buy cheap paper towels and then you have... Uh, and they are linty. The, these these shop towels are better from Sam Club. So see, that's being a little more stubborn for me. So I'm just going to re-wet it. You don't have to panic. Does that look balanced, Jamie? Yeah, I think so. It's like a little more white inside here, but I can't tell because that's dry and that's well, wet. I, ha I haven't gotten to that yet. Oh, okay. So it's oh, yeah, more. that's perfect then. Okay, Julie has a question. I'm just going to read it out loud. Mm -hmm. With this piece, you did gray as a base color and used the lighter color for your whitewash. Is this a general rule of thumb? Or can your base color be lighter with the whitewash technique a darker color? I hope that makes sense. Yes. Yes, it can be that. Um, I've done that. Um, I've done that one... I'm just trying to think of ones that I've actually done live that you can look at. If you go back, um, not now, but, um, and I can try, if I remember, I'll post it, Jamie, if you help me remember. Okay. But I've done, I've done black with whitewash. I've done the gray table that you saw. A lot of people thought that was glaze. It was actually this. But have we ever done one where the base color's lighter and the wash is darker? Yes, that okay. gray that gray table I did gray yes, with the black. black. But okay. I actually did I did gray, white, and black. Yeah. Um I have done duck egg blue, if you know what that color is. It's kinda of like a sky blue and black. Oh that came yeah, out, that really, came nice out really nice. So yes. Um and this technique can be say I painted this purple. You could just go a shade lighter purple and it's just the contrast that, you know, um, gives it dimension. Um, so yes, honestly, you can do whatever you want. That's what's. That's, that's why the beauty. Kind of doesn't get old because yeah, so many different ways. And people today, I don't know, they they like whatever's different. That hobo look. But gray is always a safe color. I find that no matter what your style is, everybody likes the gray. Um, especially if you're selling furniture, you know, always remember whenever you do something really crazy different, and I do do that a lot, it's not, they don't sell as fast because people like to look at it, but people a lot of times aren't um, so sure if they want to look at it every day. Yeah. You know? She that says, oh, okay, perfect, great ideas, LOL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Sam says that she feels like she wants to do a black wash on her white cabinets with a scary face. like um, On her kitchen cabinets? Mm -hmm. You could do like a glaze. Like if you look at that round table yeah, I just did, cool. even though it's the same, you just got to look at it this way. It's the same concept. I was just being more intentional about where I put it. I just put it like a long, you know what I mean? Like long highlighted areas. So like cabinets, the reason I say I would stick to like edging, you know, or edging or round doors and not get too much all over is because it can look very stripey when you're looking at an entire room. Um, it's flat, right? And it's flat, yeah. like. What's making this look so pretty is the detail is kind of helping us too. 
But I will say, when you have contrast colors, like even if you look at the center of that door, Jamie, if you want to show them the center of that door closely, and that's a flat surface, you just see where the white kind of just grabs in there, and it just gives it, and that's basically what you would get. Mm -hmm. um, but going lighter to darker, like your kitchen cabinets, I'm not telling you what to do. I would just try to find a picture so you kind of have an idea of what you, where you want to go with it. Because people do pinstriping on kitchen cabinets and they always go darker usually. But it's just right around the edges. Yeah, that would look, I feel like that would look nice. Yes, because it's more, it's just more structured and I just think it looks more pleasing to the eye when you're dealing with kitchen cabinets versus this, where this is, there's no structure to this because the, the details in itself are completely, you know, make it a little bit more unstructured. So now, before I would move down, I'm not gonna bore you with everything that goes through my head, but um, then I kind of just look and say, okay, where do I want the white a little heavier now that I got it kind of going and I, I got a little feel. So I'm, I'm kind of really liking these little arches here. So I'm gonna go a little heavier and maybe not use so much water, if that makes sense. So when I wipe away, it's a little on the heavier side. And I, there's no rhyme or reason, I'm just choosing places that I think it looks good. Um, I like it how it's a little heavier in this braid. So, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make it a little heavier in that braid and not bring the water into play so much. But see how it just, I love that. It looks so pretty. I don't wanna move you guys around if too If you guys much. see anything that you're like, oh, I think this would look nice, go ahead and tell me, I'll try it. <laughs> if there's an area that you think um, I'm, I'm liking it a little heavier in this bead You know, you don't want to go over it too much because this is wet. So, you know, you want to, you know, choose your battles. I feel like that arch is a little heavier too. Do you feel that way, Jamie? Yeah. Right here I got my little finger on there and that's just something you kind of don't really want to ignore because that'll be there forever it dries is this making sense to you guys I just want to make sure I'm explaining myself okay Yeah, I need that thing. I can't stand it when I when I don't <laughs> open the door and wipe it. it. It has a pattern to the wiping that I don't like. So even like right here, I mean, this hardware is probably gonna cover it, but if you were ever dealing with like a table or something like that. I don't know if you can see this little ding here. And actually the white going in it just kind of makes it seem like, you know, it's acceptable um, being there. Because with old furniture, and I used to do when we first started, I kept trying to hide everything. I like wanted it to look brand new. And I actually was making myself insane until I started finding these techniques that, you know, it's okay if it's not perfect. It's just a lot easier route for me. 
I'm not telling anybody what to do, but for me, it was just an easier route to go, and I think it comes out nice. Okay. So I'm not going to marinate in this too much. Oh, the lady. My favorite part, guys. Oh, hold on. Let me get this. <laughs> so these are things, you know, I'll try to talk as I'm painting a little bit. You know, these are things that are going to make your piece stand out over someone else's. People may not know what you did different, but they're definitely going to be able to see a difference. So, um, I'm going to take advantage of this lady, and I think I'm going to really, I'm going to paint her. I may paint her hair yellow or something. I don't know. I haven't decided completely yet. I'll know by the time I get back up there, but... Um, See, I'm just giving it a dusting so that all that white grabs in her shirt, like something we probably weren't even seeing with the wood. And now you can see all the details of her shirt. Okay, I'm happy. Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's go to the, I'm gonna start on the legs. <laughs> I'm only going to do the front, guys, because the top, um, or should I show, let's see what time I'm done, and we'll see. If you guys want me to do the top for you, just because it's a flatter surface, I have no problem doing that. I just don't want to bore you. But I think I'm going to concentrate on the front as far as getting paint and maybe starting some detail and just showing you guys different things. Now, one thing we didn't go over when we did the prep, because it's really something that I don't usually do that day, but you're always welcome to, is when I take the hardware off, I do wash it a little bit, you know, just to know that, you know, it's clean. But I'm not, you know, again, that's your preference. I know there's some nice cleaners out there that will bring that brass right down to brass or whatever the, the metal is, it'll bring it right back to almost brand new looking. It's really not my style, but you know, you can do that. Um, but usually in the end, uh, and I'll show you this tomorrow, I'll show you how to do waxing. I have different colored waxes. If you want to show them, Jamie, those the oh, different yeah. waxes that we have. Um, and I also use that throughout the, the piece of furniture um to add dimension and i i feel like metal is really in right now people like to see so whatever i'll use i have different colored waxes so we have it's gilding wax it's, yeah it's gilding wax and so you come in these little... i just apply it with my finger and these things are game changers man you can get it in any color you want and it goes on so easy and it really sticks so, on. <laughs> Jamie, why don't you do this while I'm, you know, you can actually show them. Take one of the, take one of the pieces of hardware and let me think. Copper, silver. You know what? My gold's in that back room, I think, sitting on top of the can. Okay. I think that's definitely, I don't think I want copper or silver. I think I want to go with gold. Okay. She'll get that. And uh, I'll show you how to apply that right to the wood too. This stuff is like so awesome. It's just little products like that and it's not that expensive and the little jar goes such a long way. I'm sorry for getting your guys way. I gotta go all the way around this thing. Copper It should say gold. Oh. You know what? Tip it upside down. That's probably the gold. That's the gold. I just didn't realize it. But just show them a little demonstration of the hardware. Okay. Um, Julie says, so glad you're going to use colored wax. I've been apprehensive to try color with wax. Oh my Just gosh, been using Julie. The clear. People are going to be like, who are you? You are so awesome. This is one of the knobs. When I started using that... I had so many people be like, they just didn't, they couldn't, they didn't know it was wax that I was doing. But uh, it's so easy to apply. The biggest thing that you have to understand, it is wax. 
So um, you have to have your top coat or your wax product on first because um, if you if you do all say I go around and do all that and then I go put clear wax on this, it'll take it right off. Wax takes off wax, See which is also good. good to know though if you make a mistake. If you put it somewhere and you don't like it or you miscalculate or you put too much on, just go get yourself some clear wax and it'll lift it back up. And you don't want to put too much. You want to still see some of the natural or the original handle. Yeah, that's how we like it. You can cover the whole thing if you want. That looks pretty though. That looks nice. And then you buff it. It does take a few days to completely dry. But once it's dry, remember it's wax, <laughs> so you can't. It's it's um. What do they say? It's oil based. Hmm. And what we ha use most of our products are water based, so it's kind of got to be the last thing that you put on. They do recommend a brush or a cloth, but we use our finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we use our finger. See, and this is the best brand. I mean, you can finger. get the, um, what do they call it? The rubbing wax right there at... Um, Hobby Lobby? Hobby Lobby. Yeah. But it's 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 got a drier consistency. I feel like it crumbles. Yeah, this goes on. And we've tried... We've tried quite a few products. Yeah. And I, we, this is our favorite brand. You can get it right on Amazon. Um, sometimes they only have certain colors that you can get prime, but... You guys, are they seeing all this on this leg? This is like, yeah, I'll do awesome. This is like, I may have to take you off of this thing. Who? All the people? No, off of the stand. It's so pretty. I don't want to make anybody dizzy. So I really like the ball and the places that doesn't have any detail. I'm just giving a quick brush. I'm, I don't really care that much about it, but I just want the white to hit that so it blends with the rest of it. It's more where you see the detail that you're going to go a little heavier. You know how it is. It's like, if I just say oh, I'll go back tomorrow and I don't know. I feel like I lose my groove. Okay. Right. Let's Looks good. This is going to go much cool quick. Too, Sorry, moving you guys again. So Here's basically, a full. all the all the bars underneath, you're going to do everything the exact same. Nothing you're going to do different. Um, I'll demonstrate the top for you because it is a little different with a flat top. But I'm just going to finish this in the legs. We'll do the top, and um, then I'll start doing some details so you can just kind of get a feel of that when I start grabbing other colors. But you can do. You know, you could put another, let this dry 24 hours and go through, like that's how I did the table. I did this and then I waited 24 hours and I went through with black. Or you can go through with yellow. I mean, you know, I'm not going to tell you it's going to look good, but 
you can do whatever you want. Actually, yellow and gray look very, very nice yes, together. Yes, they do. Or you can do the same concept. I'm gonna be painting in detail, but I could go and just paint this whole thing after 24 hours, you wanna wait. I could go and do a wash in here that's the green. You know, the only thing is I feel like it's gonna just go where the white is, and I kinda of want the top of, of this to be a little green, so. It's really whatever your preference is. I'm just showing you basically the basics of it, but at the end of the day, you know, there's gonna have to be some of you that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna make your own. You know where I actually started to do this is, um, I don't know if any of you has heard of the turquoise iris. She's kind of popular on Facebook. But she uses water, and I, I loved watching her, but I really wasn't into, her style per se I'm not not she's a wonderful artist but she lets everything drip I don't know if any of you have seen her um, you know she'll spray the water and she just lets it just like drip down the drawer and it looks cool but I don't know the drips kind of like maybe it's my OCD or something I just I just want to wipe it <laughs> but um, one day I decided to just She's the one that uses the water bottle. And uh, just me kind of playing around with it. And like I said, that's when you want to grab that used, that old crappy piece of furniture off the side of the road that cost you nothing and you don't care. And then you just, you try it. And then you get more and more comfortable with it. Well, just me copying her to some degree, I just kind of came up with my own, my own thing. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to try different things and you're going to, People are going to look at it and they're going to know you did it, if that makes any sense. You have your own style. All right, Jenny. I'm going to try to squeeze over here as far as I can. Mm -hmm. We're going to come into the home stretch. Could you bring me that white? make anybody nervous? Is anybody afraid to do this? Because I know I was nervous when I first tried it, spraying water on something and... Mm -hmm. great thing to practice on too is um, I don't know if you've ever been to Lowe's and you get you go back and um, where the uh, the trim is you can get a whole board of trim and I know our Lowe's they'll cut it for you I just said I just go in and have them cut me six inch pieces but it's the it's the it's the trim or the molding that has a lot of grooves and curves to it there's a real curvy one that they have if I remember, I'll show you before I leave, but you can actually do little sample boards and just play around with it and play around with different colors and because it has all the, it has all the detail in it, it kind of, it's a good way to practice. And honestly, I just kept all of mine and I use them as sample boards and I put, I write on the back though the colors I use to get, get the, uh, Um, you know, if you think about it, Jamie, a lot of them, I tried all kinds of colors, remember? Oh, yeah, we have a ton. <laughs> you know, I would do Scandinavian pink and brown and do the white wash, and it would come out amazing. Um, Julie said she doesn't seem that nervous to do it on her little end table, but if it was a big piece like this, yeah, she would be. Done, guys. 
she liked our um, tip for the uh, sample boards. Yeah, I'm gonna actually get them for you because I think I can get them. Well, don't make them dizzy. I think I've done that already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying I'm so hard in, not to. I'm gonna be done in two seconds. Let's all just relax. We have all night. They can watch us on the replay if they don't want to watch us right now. I have been sitting on this buffet, you guys. You don't understand. I have been just itching to do this for so long. And it was only because I kept going back. Do I want to paint this in front of people? Don't I want to paint this in front of people? And here I am. It's good for me too. You guys are helping me more than you realize because in today's day and age, you have to be able to go live and do this stuff in front of people. And I struggle with that. You know, it's not easy to put yourself out there. So this is giving me practice. Um, I mean, did it look okay? It I don't care about okay, the pack yeah. so much. Maybe just right there. Yeah. Julie says, um, I'm very glad you did. This has been so informative and helpful. Good. This whole thing tip board on no. <laughs> I think I think we're good. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry to put my head in the way, but I really have to get away into the sun. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to leave a big glob. Okay. So do you want to put it on the detail? Where do you want me to put it? Back on the put thing. I'll put this on the stand. All right, we're going go, back on the stand. Bear with me. And then go get her, go get them the details, and you can read on the back the different colors I used. Okay. While well, I just kind of look this over to make sure. Okay. I hit everything. Sometimes we go a little overboard, so we have but to But show them how there's some wax or some metal on that. I don't know if they could see that. So it has the ribbon. So this is a juniper blue, old white, and a champagne gold. And the champagne gold is like a, just like a very... It's like a paint. Shimmery, yeah, yeah shimmery paint. But I think I applied that. I applied almost all these like this, like the white wash, like the wash. Say. I can tell by looking at it. Oh, uh, this was like a green of some sort. That may be like farm fresh. It's a green of some sort with brown. This one's really pretty. This we used a bunch charcoal, lavender, there's some Versailles, Florence. And that and actual board, gold. if you look at the bottom, that's silver wax. In the middle, it's gold, and at the top, it's copper. So 
This one's pretty too. Mint and Hunfler. Hunfler and Scandinavian Pink. I don't remember that one. So this one we did Napoleonic Blue in Versailles, and then right here, you can see where we just hit it with a little bit of the copper wax. Um, so Julie's saying the wax is only applied in the grooves, not on the flat surfaces or on both. We, I, <laughs> we tend to do Kind of. Well, we're going to use it tomorrow. So I'm going to show you. All I can do is really demonstrate on this. I, any raised air, I mean, Julie, you're going to get this on your finger and you're not going to know when to stop me. I just go all Yeah, you over. can go a little crazy. You can You can go around doors. And it's just such a little detail that a lot of people don't even know it's there, but it just gives dimension or when the light hits it a certain way, you'll see it. But I guess here you could take your finger and run it like down these little stripes here, raised areas. Sometimes around where I put the um, hardware, I'll take a rub of it and go like this. So it almost looks like a, it almost looks like the metal kind of bled into the, to the. Um, the sky is really the limit. I could take it and go all the way down this if I wanted to. You could do whatever you want. There's a buffet that I did. Jay, move over a little bit. This scroll right here. There's a buffet I did. And I did the entire scroll copper. So there's no rule to any of this. I'm just showing you what I do. And I just, I honestly really feel that now that you have just even a little bit of knowledge, you can start playing with it and trying. And um, I, I really have no problem too if um, when you're done with your end table, if you, you know, reach out to us in Messenger and send me a photo of it and I can give you some tips of, you know, where I would put it and we'll just start with that and then, you know, you can just see and then you go from there. This is actually really pretty. We've never... That is very pretty. That's nice and Christmassy. But show her yeah. how I... So it's like a sample board too. Even though I was playing with it, I keep them. So when you get customers down the road that want you to do... So um the silver... Yeah. Copper. And Just gold. right on the back how you did it because I can't remember what I did yesterday. That's me. I like that color of Anibis. I don't what is it? What was Anibis. That? Yeah, who would have thought it would make a color like that? And then a charcoal wash. Yeah, we have a ton. Right, I'm done with this. Should I whitewash the top real quick? Do you guys want to see me whitewash the top? It's a flat surface, or do you want me to start um, with the detail? What time is it? Um, it's 8.20. Um, Where again can you get these waxes? What brands do you like we'll best? Put it, oh. We're gonna put it in the um, comments under this video, this brand, um, and look at my hands. <laughs> Amazon I get them right off of Amazon I don't know where else to tell you to get them certain colors you can get prime sometimes you have to wait for the colors but I get them we'll do Amazon. a product yeah we'll do a product again with a link or whatever So let me put it over here so we don't did forget. you guys want to see me whitewash the top or do you feel like you kind of get the gist of it because the top is like a flat long surface what time is it 8 25 825 oh mm -hmm. it's almost an hour mm -hmm. all right let's start the let's, detail and if I have if you want to I'm going to do the detail and if you want to watch I'll do the top and if you don't you can watch it tomorrow I don't expect anybody to hang out here an hour is a long time to sit and watch somebody paint um so let's go to what the door, door are we going to start on yeah, that one okay on this door 
moving ya. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep, Jamie's just gonna keep me live and I'm just gonna keep painting. So yeah, and if guys, it's too long, just just say just just go. say yeah. Cause uh, this is gonna probably take me a while. Like once I get going, I don't really like to stop. So I'm probably gonna be here for another couple hours. Um, I have a blue. I have uh, tourmaline, which is a green, and Higgins Lake, which is a blue. Huh? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> that's really funny. I think that's the Higgins. <laughs> We're not late. We're not laughing, you guys. Oh, God. Hang out for me for a while. We'll be laughing too. <laughs> okay. I need that one next. So you want the green? Why we're laughing is because I put the wrong top on the wrong can. So look at <laughs> That's the stuff I do, guys. Okay. Oh okay, gosh. so I'm going to use this brush. I'm not so sure I'm going to like it yet because I change my mind a lot, but I'm going to try with this, and I'm just getting a very little bit. This is what you call dry brush. So you're not going to really, you're just going to kind of like scoot your brush along the detail. My brush is wet. And I kind of like, you know, you, you can have waited to this dried and do it. I like the fact that everything's a little moist because I don't want it to be a very, for me, I don't want it to be very defined. I just want it to just hit the tips. It's just going to be just enough. And I also don't want to lose that white in the cracks that you guys are seeing. So it's like a dry brush. So you're just going to put a very little bit on your... Guys, this does not have to be perfect. Perfect. I go off, I miss. And it all seems to be fine. People don't seem to mind. I get these brushes right at Hobby Lobby. I don't use anything special. Actually, some of them I get right at the Dollar General. I'm not going to sit here and do this entire buffet in green right now. I'm going to just concentrate on this one door. I think I can do that and uh, kind of show you how I was going to do the different colors or jump around to different spots. Anybody have any questions on this? Does this make sense? And there's no rhyme or reason what I'm choosing to do. I just decided that I like these colors together and um, What makes this a dry brush technique? Um, they consider it a dry brush only because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of paint on it. It's just like I'm almost it's like like this. This has been sitting here a while, so this is dry. But watch when I go like that. See how it still leaves it it still leaves some white behind. So it's just that it's not like a load of paint. It's just a very light this happens to just be a vibrant, kind of a vibrant color, but this is very dry, meaning um, just a dusting. That ended up being a little bit of a mix of the Higgins Lake, only because I, I, don't, I don't change brushes, I just keep with the same brush. So sometimes the colors will kind of mix in with each other and I'm completely okay with that. Um, now the lady. I'm just gonna hit different things and then if you guys wanna go, you can and then I'll go back and I'll just concentrate on the whole thing but I'm just picking different things. Same thing, um, my brush is dry. It's very little paint. Um, I like these pointers for some things, these little pointer tips. 
Uh, and I'm gonna, I, I wanna do her hair yellow. And again, this does not have to be perfect. I want some of the gray to show. I want some of the white to show. Now, tomorrow, I'm just debating how I'm going to do this because um, I want to show you guys the whack. Oh, you know what we could do, Jamie? We could top coat one door. That's what I'm going to do, okay? I'll top. Tomorrow or tonight? Tomorrow. Okay. Because I can't show them the wax on right. the dry because I have to top coat it. I'm thinking, I don't know if I can, we should ask Wise Owl if we can, I don't think you can, I think you gotta do the wax last. You get what I'm saying, James, mm -hmm. in my mind? Yeah. The top coat dries pretty quick, but not that quick. So I'm just trying to think of how I can do that. Or, you know what we could do? We could do a video of the top coat separately. Yeah, and then like post it. Yeah. Yeah. So we could nobody's do that. actually painting with us right now. So you guys, you seen? I mean, I know you guys aren't gonna be walking around with a bunch of ladies on your <laughs> on your armors, but you know, there's a, so many things you can do. I don't know if you've ever seen the moldings from uh, the IOD molds. Where you can actually adhere molding to some furniture that doesn't have anything. I've used them before. Um, you know, and take advantage. Take advantage of this stuff because it's... Okay, so Julie has a question about okay. shipping and packaging. Do oh. you mind if we answer that? No. Oh. Okay. okay. So... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to move that. So shipping... Um, we basically use two places. It's called U-Ship, which is a place where a bunch of smaller, like almost like a mom and pop type business that they deliver, pick up and deliver. And it's a bidding place for them. So you upload the furniture with all the information onto that website. It's called U-Ship. And then people will bid and give you a price on what they would deliver it for. And that, they you don't really have to package. You just have to wrap it nicely. You don't even have to do that. Yeah, well, we always ask because yeah. some of them blanket wrap and some of them don't. But my opinion is me and Jamie always ask them, do you mind if we do a little of our own wrapping? Because some of them want to see the piece before it gets on their truck. Most of them don't care if we wrap. Right. And then I just feel more comfortable. I'm going to go over those legs. Okay. And then I just feel a little bit more comfortable with that, that we took care of it. And we just blanket wrap, but maybe, maybe like, um, like show her that package, right? That stuff right there. Yeah. It like really depends on the piece. Yeah. But like, you know, we have this thin foam stuff. Um, we just wrap decent amount for like, that. Like that's for you. If it was this buffet, I would make sure. The legs were all covered. Believe it or not, I get socks at the dollar store, tube socks. Anything you can just to make sure that it's lightly covered in case it runs into something. You know what I mean? Or they run it into something. But most of them are pretty good. Yeah, and you, sometimes you don't get any bites on U-Ship. U-Ship is always the first route we kind of go to because you don't have to crate it, pallet it. Yeah, if you don't have somebody to help and you. And that is... That think we're fortunate enough to have yeah, my somebody <laughs> who can help us do that. And then, um, oh, I think we lost her. That's okay. <laughs> so, 
So then the second part that we do is it's called Freight Buddy. And they basically, you call them and you tell them the size of the piece, about how much it weighs. Oh, good, you're still here. <laughs> um, so Freight Buddy, you call them, you tell them the dimensions, the size, or the weight, and um, they'll tell you if they recommend it just palleted or if you should pallet and crate it. You, We've crated a few pieces. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Definitely crate anything with glass or mirror. Like a mirror, um, glass doors, you're going to want to crate it, package it, like wrap it really, really, really good and crate it. Um, you can, if you don't have anything like glass, mirror, um, you can just pallet it. And then they'll give you a quote based on if you're picking, if they're um, picking it up at your house and delivering it to a residence or if you're going to drop it at a close terminal near you and um, have it sent to either the resident or a terminal close to them. Terminal to terminal is always cheaper, even terminal to residents. Like if you can get the piece to a terminal, it's usually cheaper to go that route because they don't need the forklift. Um, so a lot of it is just getting the quotes and giving them to people, which they are high, they are high quotes. <laughs> yeah. Like we shipped a, a hutch that we had to crate to California. The hutch was seven fifty and the shipping was seven fifty. And you know what? A lot of these people it gets frustrating because you're gonna give a lot of people quotes and nobody's gonna take it, but every now and then you, you hit it and people do um pay you for it. So are you gonna be on Etsy? Because I would highly recommend you being on Etsy. Do you watch out? This is not really good. sorry. So see how that I put that on a little heavy. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing anymore, but yeah. I put that on a little heavy, a little water, and it went right back to the way I wanted it. So easy to work with. I'm just basically, right now, just doing a tinge of just color on these legs. I'm doing the green on the outside and blue on the end. And I'm kind of letting them rub into it, run into each other. I don't really care. And I'm just doing that tip. And you know, on Etsy, they don't really allow you to put in, like you can't put in the measurements and weight of every single piece of furniture you have. It's not really an option on Etsy for the yeah. size pieces that we ship. So you have to say to them, So, quote. yeah, you have to kind of make sure in your policy that you're stating it is not free shipping. And if you ever want to look on ours and copy some of our wording, it's fine. You know, if you ever wanted to do that, we don't care. Not that we would know anyway, but that's kind of what we did when we went on. We just looked for people that looked like they were shipping a lot and selling a lot. And we just kind of just read how they were, you know, doing it. And the ones that you see a, a shipping cost already there, they're guessing. And me and Jamie you know, just decided that we didn't want to do that because I think people get more mad when they find out that it's not the real amount versus them having to call you to find it out. I don't know if that helped. Shipping seems a lot more complicated till you just, you just got to just do just, it. Yeah. And a lot of these places, when you call them, if you say, look, because all it is is you ship and Freight Buddy, they're just basically middlemen. And they are they look to get you the best price possible. And if you tell them, and we were just honest, look, at we've never done this before. And they were really helpful. You know, they, they guided us and told us what most people do. And um, Yeah, they'll tell you packing instruction and everything, like what they recommend you pack with if you're just gonna pallet it and not enclose it into a crate. What are you looking for? I kinda don't even know, um, this one. Oh, okay, sorry. no, cause I could grab it. I'm moving down. Okay, so they basically network with like 
UPS or UPS or FedEx, kind of, but even some bigger terminals. So um, I'm trying to think the of some of the names. But the bigger terminals, it's going to be you have to have it on a pallet. Yeah. So like XPO, I think it's XPO um, is one of them. Um, there is a freight for UPS or FedEx. I'm sorry. I don't know if I should color her shirt or leave it. What do you guys think? When you guys see this, it may look different than what you're seeing. I'm just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? I like the green. I don't think I like the blue with it. I think it's too close of a color. Uh -huh. I feel like it needs, but I don't know yet. Like so I, don't I do can't make yet. that decision right now. Go do the other. We could do the other legs. Do the other Should I do the top so they can see me do that? And then if they want to go, they can. Yeah, we'll do the top and then. It's really not that hard, but uh, you have your pants. there's just a little tip I want to show you when you're doing, um, you know what, Jamie, maybe you could sit it right there and they can look right down there. These poor people. I know. Just unplug it. It's <laughs> oh my Let me gosh. See. Turn this way. Hi. Okay. This is the top of the buffet. Um. I'm going to use a fatter brush for this because I'm, I'm going to be covering a large space. And probably while I'm up here, I'm going to hit this backsplash. Um, the biggest tip I could tell you, before, so I don't forget, is that when I go to wipe, I'm going to wipe and get the wet off. And then I'm going to be doing long strokes from here and going all the way down. Because if I go and I stop, you will almost see that if that makes any sense. Most of my buffets, I strip the top. This is probably the first one that I did it, and I only just, the only reason I did it was because I just felt like it was gonna start getting into really complicated stuff. Not that it's hard to do, but maybe me and Jamie will do a class on that, on how to strip. We've done it enough times. The, the nice thing with stripping them, the tops and leaving it wood, is, um, Especially if you have a if you have a buffet that doesn't have a lot of perfect has a lot of imperfections, um, stripping it, you still may see some of the imperfections. I just think wood is always a little bit more forgiving when you have a I wet the top. I'm going to wet my brush. Just wet everything. Jamie, can you squirt this? It's going on a little too heavy for me. Just like more over here. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. And I'm just going to smear it around. Can you get the back splash? Just keep wetting this. This is just... do this by yourself. If I if I was by myself, you just have to just keep stopping and wetting. You can feel it. You can feel when it's dry and you can't move the paint around. Right here in the center, Jane. And I'm just taking the time to hit up here. Julie, if you ever run into anything or anybody else, I don't. I think you're the only one that's probably going to be more on the sales end. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We don't mind helping you out. Now, I don't know if you ever heard of Cherish. Cherish is another selling platform. We're not very. I I really want to do it because at first you avoid it because they they do charge you twenty percent. But when you start realizing what they do for you, you give them a picture. Because I spend a lot of time on my photos. That's the key. You have to have really good photos. And mostly because when you go on Etsy, you're dealing with so many people at one time. And you need your photo to stand out to make them stop. Because they're scrolling through hundreds and hundreds of furniture. 
So I put a lot of time into my photos. Well, with Cherish, they do your photos. Don't kick that over. <laughs> they do your photos. Um, and if you sell it, they have white a white glove service comes right to your house to pick the item up. So you have nothing to do with that. And uh, like I said, at first I was like, I didn't really want to give up the 20%. But I'm just going to do it and I'm going to add it into my price because these people, their prices are crazy and they're selling on that platform. Fan, guys, I'm not, I'm not a tall person. Okay, so now I want to really start working on my. You see, all this white is grabbing right down all through this this little crevice right here. It just makes it look so pretty. Scan it so I can see that stop and go. Okay. Okay. I'm glad that time. All right. So see, you and don't. That's... You can make it as stripey as you want. I don't like that look, so I keep working it until I just see a kind of a dusting of it, and it just um, gives you a nice texture. And if there's any spot, like right here, I kind of got a little bit more paint off than I wanted to, I can go back and touch that up. It's not a big deal. And it'll touch up fine. Some distressing looks nice, and sometimes it will, you can tell that it... Julie said she recently got a MCM dresser made by Kent Coffee. We yes. had one of them, right? Yep. Um, she had never heard of him, but did research and found his stuff can be worth a lot. My dresser needs some TLC and restoration, but it's still solid. This dresser was given to me, and I found a nice refurbed one on Cherish for over twelve hundred. My fingers are crossed. I yeah, think what do we sell a... ours for? We sell ours for quite. A... That was the one we were talking about. Yeah. I, I think I got what eight hundred each piece or a thousand. I got quite a bit. Yeah. If if it's a long dresser and it's in good condition, you can get. I mean, for my long dressers now, I'm. I'm pushing it, and I'm I'm getting seven fifty, but for Kent Coffee, I would I think I I think I got eight fifty nine hundred for the long one, but it was a set. It was a long piece, and it was the the cabinet. Um, I think there is. Just wash those legs. I I don't know if I'm thinking of the same. If it's Kent Coffee or not, but I think there's a website you could post that stuff on specific oh. for Kent Coffee brands. I know what's there, Berkey and Gay? Yeah. yeah that, Ber there's a Berkey and Gay. It may be Berkey like and Gay. Stuff. Yeah. So um, this is what the piece looks like as of now. 
And I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to. And we're just going to keep going with the detail. Burn the midnight oil. Um, she said, did we paint it? I was told some upcyclers to not paint it, but just restore. Should we paint everything. <laughs> well, we did, but remember how we did it? What we did was we, um, Jamie, I'm going to try to find, ow, it's on our Etsy. Is it on our Etsy? It's on the, the one we sold, right? Yeah, but it's on, um, it's on inactive one. Yeah. I'm going to try to post it. And whatever the price is, I didn't, I don't think I went down on it. So whatever it says, I think I got it for it. These ones, right? Yeah. Yeah. We sold 900 and 700. Yeah, so I got 900 for the long one and 700 for the, the chest. They were in outstanding condition, I will say. They were almost, it was a lot like this buffet. It was just, it had nothing. You know what you could do? What I do a lot of times is you test it. I try to sell it before I paint it. And if you feel time's going by and nothing's happening, I do feel like you have to kind you of be a little I do bit. A lot of times. What's that? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I do feel like you have to be a little bit more, like you're not going to paint it this style. Um, all my mid centuries, I usually use um, general finishes. It has a little bit more of a sheen to it, so it has a little bit more of that modern, that kind of person that would want that. It's not chalk. I don't usually use chalk paint for my mid centuries. I will post it in the uh, group page. It won't let me post it under the comments on a live video. Oh, you can post it in our regular page. No, I'll post, yeah, I'll post it in the group, like, in the paint, like, the group we're doing right now. Oh, okay. They could look at it later. Yeah. Are you familiar with uh, Flipping Furniture for Profit? Have you heard of that group? She, she's not familiar with it. I think that's where um, me and Jamie learned a lot from them. I've been with them right from the beginning. I think she's going to start closing her group. But I think right now she's running one more class. And I don't remember how much she asks. I want to say it may be, it may be 200 bucks, But it's almost like you get a book. Um, plus you get like a, kind of like a private site, sec, a site like we're, we ha are doing right now that you can go in and ask her questions. It's called the mastermind group, but, um, she takes you through everything and you can just do it at your own pace. Like me and Jamie, when we first started, she gives you price, how to price. She talks about photography. That's really where we learned a lot of our stuff. She talks about shipping, you know, not everything is really deep, but the photography end is deep and the pricing. Um, she gives you a chart. So like when me and Jamie price something, we just use her chart. I've used it right from the, and she's, she's not, you know, she stays a little on the higher end and uh, her goal is to change the market, you know, and I think she has, I think this woman really has gotten people to ask more for their things. Cause this is a lot of work, um, painting and storing it and, carrying it around um yes it's a facebook group yes it's a facebook group so if you google flipping furniture for profit actually she just sent me an email that she's closing the group she's closing this part of the group forever but you will have right when you buy it you almost have a book yeah like you have access to it even if she closes it on facebook you will still have it in your possession and she goes through Pinterest. She goes through a little bit of everything. 
And me and Jamie got a lot of knowledge from her when we started out. And I'm still part of the group. And you can um, stage and they actually, you know, they help you stage it. You can post it up there and they, they tell you exactly, you know, how to do it. And different things like that. I'll try to send the link because I just got an email that she was closing it. This is her last class that she's doing with it. Another person that you should, um, I'm not saying you have to buy her course, but she has, she does have an open forum and she's just very inspirational is Jennifer Allwood. She's a wonderful human being and uh, she started out as a furniture painter and her goal is to just help people. She gives away a lot of free information, right, Jamie? Yeah. She does have a private class. But you know what? Right now, if you're just starting out, it would probably be too much for you anyway. A lot of the stuff when I listen, I'm like, what are they even talking about? They talk about Facebook algorithms and I'm like... Oh, she says she follows Jennifer. She oh, loves her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about her before we went live. She's a gifted woman. So I hope this is all helping. Like, there's some things it's hard to explain, you know, as far as, you know, I just decided to do that, so I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just finding what you think looks good, and this part's a little hard to really teach. So I'm just saying this is what I'm doing. But I feel like these are the things that are going to make your piece stand out. And you can go as... I felt that the hutch, the, the thing looked beautiful just with the gray, with the whitewash. You know, yeah. you don't have to do all this extra stuff I'm doing. And the minute you start doing stuff like this, I'm not going to lie to you, you're limiting your buyers because the gray and the white kind of brought that gaudiness and toned it down. And now I'm kind of bringing it back out a little bit. But, um... And when I'm completely done, you can sand it if you want. I choose not to. Something with the water, it does make it smooth. I may give it a very light sanding. Like, where's that sand block? Wait. If I sand this, I don't know if I'll do it around you guys, but this is 220. You don't want anything too coarse. I like higher... Mm -hmm. And I'm just, if I do it, I'm just going to basically do this, do the whole thing. I'm not going to do a lot of back and forth mo movements just to get the softness. That's all I'm going to do. I'm probably going to stay away from all this detail. And I'm just going to run more. I'm going to be concentrating more on the top, the sides, and like the flat door. That already feels just a little smoother. And that's it. Something with the water. When you put the water on the chalk paint, it kind of like, uh, it starts to break it down. So it's smoother than it would be if you didn't do water. If you didn't do water, you'd ha definitely have to sand it. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think that's it. Yeah. So we are probably going to... So finish tomorrow, yeah, we'll finish tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to um, clear coat it. I'm probably going to clear coat one door before tomorrow night so I can show you the wax. Um, and then maybe we'll just do a videotape of us doing more of the wax. Yeah. And then we can, you guys are going to be in this group for a month. So anything we can think of, we'll videotape and just post and it just for post, you. Yeah. And if we, when we finish this tonight, we'll post a picture. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Any questions before we leave? All right. Have a good night, Have a good guys. night. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you.